Good afternoon everyone. Today I would like to talk about the blizzard in Japan that has canceled several hundred flights, the hundred centimeter snow falls across Korea, and the 6,000 tourists stranded by 150 centimeters of snow across Himsal Pradesh in India. A quick look here at the 500 millibar chart shows you where the blizzard is sweeping across Japan. This is in addition to the 80 centimeters of snow in Hokkaido that they received last week. This adds another 80 centimeters. All of the ski resorts are open for sure by now, but it's going to be difficult to get up there. A couple images here. This is further down toward Tokyo. These are some of the conditions around Fukushima. If you are planning to travel to Japan, there's been 300 flights canceled. And currently there's 144 kilometer per hour winds blowing that's definitely going to affect flights travel they're expecting another 120 centimeters of snow in the next day or so Korea lies along the same latitude you can see where the cloud band is sweeping across the Korean Peninsula there they've had record snowfall of 122 centimeters in Gangwon tonight the temperatures are supposed to dip down into negative 18 and across Asia, it seems to be just snowfall after snowfall, breaking record after record. Shimla and Manali and Himshal Pradesh also received their first snowfalls of the year, but it was so intense and so deep that 6,000 tourists were stranded. 65 centimeters of snow fell, and you definitely do not want to be driving in 65 centimeters of snow on Himalayan roads. This is a good idea of what people had to walk through to escape out of their cars and get to some habitation or villages. The snow stranded traffic. Road travel was impossible at that point. They actually had to walk out 2,500 of those tourists. And Rotong Pass had 150 centimeters of snow. That's closed for the year now. You'll have to fly in if you're going to go to Leh or Ladakh. 150 centimeters of snow converts into 60 inches. A couple more images of the conditions up in the Shimla Manali area. This is off Z News. And searching across the web, and when the news in India talks about intense cold sweeping through a Himalayan area already, it's got to be pretty cold and pretty bad for them to actually put that in the news. Some more images of the road conditions. As you can see, looks like for the rest of the year until they get those roads cleared, everything is kind of bottlenecked. You're not going to be able to travel up in that area. I'll leave you with the last graph here showing that we are predicting to go into a downtrend which will usher in a grand solar minimum and in a grand solar minimum you could expect these types of you know record snowfalls all across the planet in the northern hemisphere looks like it's begun last month was the US Russia now that vortex of cold seems to have shifted over to Asia thanks for watching hope you found a few interesting images out of the the video to show you other parts of the planet that are also being affected by cold. It seems these are the first couple years of the minimum that is beginning and we can expect more of these types of heavy snow events to become the norm every year but deeper from now on across the entire northern hemisphere.